up, heat it up, heat it up. My spirit is about to burn. Racing through the city streets. Breaking new speeds like a supersonic. The sound of my exhaust note, it echoes across the sky. Just like a beating pulse, can you hear it cry? deliveries are killing me. What's the rush anyway? The power company needs this big power cell to back up their computer system. <sighs> well, wake me up when we get there. Hmm? What's that? You must be kidding me. It's a shark! Listen, pal, I think you'd better go back to sleep. This night shift really is getting to you. Gotcha, Optimus. I'm on my way there right now. Huh? Hurry, Koji. This is an emergency. Whoa! What are you running on? Jet fuel? What's all the commotion about, Optimus? Where are we going? Not far. I'll explain everything when we get there. Cybertron base, the Autobot secret underground headquarters. Wow! How many Autobots does it take to run this operation? Our systems are controlled by a proactive cybernetic interface program. We call it TIE, which is short for Tactical Artificial Intelligence. Hello, Optimus. I see you've brought along a visitor. Yes, Tai. This is my friend Koji, Dr. Onishi's son. Nice to meet you, Koji. Any friend of Optimus is a friend of mine. I'm Tai, Tactical Artificial Intelligence System, daughter of the Teletron 1 computer program. Nice to meet you too, Tai. Ah, ah. Sorry, I should have told you. I'm a holographic projection, not a physical entity. Huh? I'm a proactive, self-initializing program that constantly scans the entire planet in order to alert the Autobots if it looks like the Predacons are up to something. Take a look at the monitors, Koji. In the past few days, there have been reports of over 200 vehicles being attacked on the road. In each case, the vehicle's battery was stolen. But who'd want to steal car batteries? The Predacons. Batteries contain energy, and they want as much energy as they can get. They're putting people in danger. Can't you stop them, Optimus? We've tried. But no matter how fast we respond, the attackers are gone by the time we get there. 
The Autobot brothers are patrolling the highways right now. They've been working for megacycles trying to intercept the Predacons. Woo! Wait, just look at that paint job! Not to mention those custom wheels. Very classy. Hello, you beautiful sports car. I'd share my garage with you anytime. That guy's nuts. He's talking to my car. You move like a dream, and the purr of your engine is music to my ears. Go listen to somebody else's engine. Hey, wait a minute. You don't understand. Hey, can't we talk about this? Come on, have a heart, will ya? Enough of the fun and game, Sideburn. We've got work to do. All right, I was just taking a little break to, well, you know, introduce myself. We're on full-time emergency patrol, remember? No breaks allowed until we catch those battery thieves. But we've been out here for days and haven't seen a thing. How are we supposed to find these guys? By covering as much ground as we can. Now let's get back to it. That little red sports car could be their next target. I'd better follow her. Ha! As far as I could tell, the only one targeting that little red sports car is you, little brother. Hey, a bot's gotta rev up his engine once in a while. Besides, I'm not the only one having a little fun. x is too. Here, check him out. He's not climbing it for fun. It'll be easier to spot the Predacons from up there. Man, oh man, my poor aching tires. You'd think whoever built this air contraption would have at least put in a freight elevator. Well, when I get down from here, you're gonna owe me a new set of shocks. <sighs> Come on, there's nothing to worry about. <sighs> Hey, you gotta loosen up, bro. You keep surging like that and your transmission will wear out. You leave my transmission out of Whoa! this. Wow! Hey, come on, man. I'm just trying to have some fun. <laughs> hey, watch it! find a new source of energy. Our mobile command center has been stuck here in the same spot for too long. The only way we can keep its existence a secret from the Autobots is by constantly changing its location. But our voyage to Earth used up almost all of our energy to power our transwarp cells. If it weren't for those blasted Autobots, we could easily force the pathetic humans who inhabit this planet to turn all of their energy over to us. And then... I would rule this galaxy, and soon the entire universe! Somehow I'll find a way to get rid of the Autobots, and then nothing can stop me! Megatron! We brought back lots of energy, boss! Excellent! Well done, Slapper! Convert it to Energon cubes and recharge the fuel cells! After that, we'll move the base to a new location. How is this energy being stored, and how long will it take to convert? It's stored in little round canisters. They're used in something called flashlights, and we got thousands of them. <laughs> hmm. Great score, huh? Of course, we'll have to convert it to energon, and that'll take a little while. I don't think it'll take more than a week or two. Well, three at the most. Silence! We need... Massive quantities of energy, not little batteries! Sorry, this is all we could find. Anywhere! You have failed me! Beast mode! Did you really think that the energy in those puny batteries would be enough to run this base? Well, yeah, sorta. Fools! Yeah. I should add your energy cores to the conversion bat! <laughs> You've been wasting your time, Megatron. One of those flashlights is brighter than the three of them combined! Show yourself, Skybite! Certainly. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, Skybite? <sighs> Skybite terrorize! <laughs> the good news is I brought you the most powerful battery the humans are capable of manufacturing. The bad news is that even this one isn't strong enough to mobilize the command center. If our fuel cells aren't recharged soon, the Autobots will discover our location! You needn't worry about that, Megatron. Based on the reports I've been monitoring, I believe I know how to solve our problem. Listen to this. All the terrorists have been placed under arrest. <sighs> However, the terrorist's ultra-high energy explosive device has not yet been found. The device is hidden inside the engine of a red sports car, one of the new XZ-12 models. All red XZ-12s have been recalled and are being thoroughly searched. High energy? Exactly. 
If we could get our hands on this device, we could dismantle it, extract the energy, and convert it for use in our fuel cells. As long as we prevent the device from detonating, it will give us all the energy we need. Then finding the bomb in that red sports car is our top priority. The only one left that hasn't been searched is being delivered to Metro City. Yes, I see. And its exact location? Right now, it's being offloaded from a ship at the Metro City docks. What if this device is rigged to go off if you try to take it out of the car? Yeah, there's no telling what might happen. Sounds awful dangerous. And if we get a boo-boo, the band-aids on Earth aren't big enough for Predacons. Silence, you sniveling cowards! Yeah! Hey, Skybites, I'm putting you in charge of this mission. Use whatever means necessary to retrieve that device! Your wish is my command, mighty Megatron. <laughs> Just what I've always wanted! A red XC-12 with a leather interior and a CD player, too! About a smooth ride, this baby handles like she was glued to the road. Okay, now let's see what kind of power she's got. That human could ruin everything. At that speed, one bump of the road could detonate the device, and the energy it contains would be lost forever. The car's probably booby-trapped. I can't rip out the bomb or it'll blow. I'll have to tear the rest of the car apart, bit by bit, until there's nothing left but the device. Then, a gentle grab and it's mine. Hey, sweetie, remember me? Well, of course you do. Mm, oh no, don't tell me that pest is here again. I didn't think the Autobots would show up so quickly. I'm gonna have to put my plan into action right now. Sorry, I thought you were somebody else, but I can see now that you're new around here. Whoa, the shine on your chrome is boosting my revs into Red Line City. Oh, revs. He's talking to my car again. Hey, where are you going? Was it something I said? Come on, give me a chance, will ya? Get a life, you jerk! Cool it, Sideburn. We're still on patrol. The difference between you and me, Prowl, is that I know how to do my duty and find a way of having a little fun while I'm doing it. Duty is its own reward, little brother. <laughs> That's Skybite, one of the Predacons! Huh? Oh, uh, of course it is! Who do you think I was chasing? Yeah, right. Please don't hurt my new car! <laughs> Skybite's about to leave his teeth marks in that beautiful paint job of hers. I've got to admit, this is the worst case of road rage I've ever seen. Predacon, you're under arrest. <laughs> Prowl, jet boosters. Halt, Predacon. Autobot, I warn you, if you try to interfere with my mission, you'll suffer the consequences. Prowl, transform! Here's a tip for you. Never ignore a warning from a shark. Now get out of my way, Autobot. Cyber, transform! You chose to ignore my warning? Such insolence and disrespect will not be tolerated. Uh, I'll deal with you two later. No way, Skybike. We do this now. Jet booster power fist! <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's been fun playing with you two, but recess is over. Shark missile! 
Moving that device will detonate and blow all of you into oblivion. I shall take it to Megatron. Now hand it over to me. It's ours. We found it and we're taking it in. Get going, guys. Let's go. Oh my yeah. God. That's no way to carry a bomb. Shaking it like that could cause it to detonate. Now hand it over and I'll fly it to the command center. Hey. You're not the only one who can fly, Tuna Breath. Take it, Dark Scream. Good thinking, Gas Skunk. Adios, Overbite. Try to get it through your thick skulls. Neither of you is taking that car anywhere. Ah! Ah! I just know I'll wake up any second. I've got the bomb. Ah! My beautiful Red Sports car. Don't worry, I'll save you. <laughs> now that I've got the device, I have to deliver it to Megatron. Oh no! My beautiful sports car is gone! Ah! Prowl, transform! Don't worry, I've got you! Ah! Sorry, ma'am. I do apologize for the inconvenience. Are you alright? For someone who's been attacked by a giant flying squirrel and a huge toad, a maniacal shark and a monstrous skunk, sure, I'm just fine. <laughs> this device contains enough power to recharge all our fuel cells. We'll convert its energy as soon as I reach the command center. Think again, Hoss. Oh, what the? This little chunk of energy is going with me. You clumsy Autobot! Now that you've handled it so roughly, the device has armed itself. Ha! Thanks to your own heavy-handed clumsiness, you're gonna have to give the device back to me. You really have no other choice. Says who? It could go off any second. <laughs> It won't be dangerous if I fly away with it, but if you keep it, the whole city could be destroyed. I didn't roll off the assembly line yesterday. You just want it back so the Predacons can suck out the energy. I have a feeling it's gonna get real unhealthy around here in a minute or two. What do you say we get out of here, boys? You know, that's the best idea I've heard all day. Hey, when you're right, you're, you're right. right. Every, Every Predacon, Predacon for himself! Dude, I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, if what Skybite says is true, thousands of lives are in danger. We've got to get that bomb away from the city, but we're almost out of time. Exprod, you've got to take that bomb someplace where the explosion will do the least amount of damage. I won't have time to get very far, and we're right in the middle of the city. Where should I take it? Any suggestions? Take it to the top of the highest structure you can find. The higher it is, the less damage it'll do. The highest structure? Right. I'm on my way. Energy will be wasted. Careful, you fool! <laughs> yeah! One more swing ought to do it. I'm almost there. What he's doing is awfully dangerous. Where is he going with that thing? He's trying to get to the top of that radio tower. Do you have any idea how tall it is? It's 500 feet. Then we better start thinking about a plan B. Made it! Now I just gotta get up to the top. It's no use. Even at this height, it will destroy the city, so hand it over! He's right, Exbron. If that thing goes off at 500 feet, the city will be demolished! He's gonna run out of power soon. In order to save the city, you're gonna have to take that thing a whole lot higher, like into the stratosphere, or maybe even farther! Of course. That's the answer. Exbron, hold your position. I'm on my way. Vehicle mode! <laughs> I mean to park it right here, Optimus. <sighs> I'm plum tuckered out. Well, now. <laughs> You've come to the end of your rope. Excellent. Give me the bomb. Looks like the cavalry got here just in time. Optimus Prime, transform. Hello, Skybite. There's nothing you can do, Optimus. I beg to differ. Optimus Prime, optimize. Exfraud, listen up. Switch into robot mode and then throw that device as far and as high as you can. Why, sure. A country mile and then some. Exfraud, transform! <laughs> Foolish Autobots. 
I'll catch up to it in no time. Activate power stream targeting mechanism. Locked on. Power stream. Fire! <laughs> Look! Optimus is using his power stream to send the bomb into space. And it's so cold outside the Earth's atmosphere that the water covering Sky Vital frees him like an ice cream cone. <laughs> I'll get you for this, Optimus! <laughs> Vibration will set it off. I have to use my gentleness pipe. Uh -oh. I believe I am in may have bitten down just a teeny weeny too hard. It worked. The city is out of danger. Thanks, Koji. We couldn't have done it without you. It was your idea that saved Metro City. Well done. Oh, <laughs> <my>. <laughs> Yahoo! Uh -oh. Mm. Skybite must have shaken a bolt loose in that explosion. Now he's reading books. What for? He says once we understand humans, we can trick him into giving us their energy. What sort of nonsense is this? It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Best or worst, make up your mind. Does Skybite really think he's gonna learn how to understand humans by reading that stuff? To be or not to be, this guy can't make up his mind either. It's not gonna work. Of course not. Humans are all crazy. All day. Don't bother me now, Slapper. I'm taking the online fish personality test. Fish personality? Excuse me, but isn't that a contradiction in terms? What? You don't know anything, Frog Boy. This test will help me identify my inner fish. <gasps> there it is. Jellyfish? This test is saying that I'm a jellyfish? Wild toads eat those. In fact, they're delicious with soy sauce. And wild sharks feast on brainless toads! Hey! Skybite! Megatron wants to see you now! Huh? Megatron, my master. I have a plan that will deliver the Earth into your hands. Don't tell me about it! Just do it fast! I'm tired of waiting! Ah, oh, so good to be summoned, Megatron. I have a new plan to gather Energon. Forget about your plan. I want you to help Scourge and his Decepticons. And pay attention! Maybe you can learn something from a battle-hardened commander like Scourge! <laughs> But I've been in battles, too. Hmm. The only battles you've contributed to have been losing battles. Now follow my orders. Stay at the base and don't get in my way. Or else... No! Have you figured out what Scourge is up to? Yes, the usual. He's going to raid the Earth's power plants and siphon off the energy for Megatron. Everything's all planned out. <laughs> That's his brilliant master plan? 
when I've got plans of my own, big ones. He's got Decepticons, I've got Predacons, robots in disguise. Tell Gaskok and Slapper we've got work to do. Hmm. Scourge, transform! Mega Octane, transform! Decepticons, we're the good guys. Yeah, I'm a police Autobot. You're under arrest for bad behavior. We're gonna put you cop folks in the corral or some other junk. Hey, where's Skybite? He's supposed to be in on this. Here I am, Rail Racer, fight for justice. Hello, Rail Racer isn't quite that flamboyant, you know. You're never gonna make it as an actor. Well, it can always work in cartoons. Armor Blast. <laughs> Rail Racer isn't that flammable either. Skybite's always been hot-headed. You could call it a fiery personality. He is complex. Quit analyzing and do something! Something's going on here. I'm going to find out what. Cyburn, what are you doing with my computer? You're supposed to be out on patrol. Chill out, Ty. I'm just taking this online fish personality test. It's very cool. Everyone's doing it. You're a sports car. You're not a fish. That doesn't make any sense at all. This is just way too deep for you, Ty. In a cosmic sense, we're all fish inside. Whoa! Your true nature is the Bonito. Wow, that's cool. I think. So are Bonitos, like, really popular with the lady fish, huh? Bonitos are very thick-headed. Huh? They waste their time hanging around headquarters instead of going on patrol, just like certain Autobots that I could name, you know? Mm. What? Huh? Ty, what's the report? Not good. Decepticon commandos are attacking the central power base. We need a rapid response. Call our best team. No problem. Hey, Optimus, your best team is standing right here. I got you covered. Braun, Brow, we need rapid deployment. Isn't it kind of wimpy to hide behind a wall like this? We're already in disguise. It's not wimpy, it's cunning. We've got to make sure that no one knows we're here. Sideburn, transform! Brow, transform! Ekron, transform! I told you they'd show up, and they're just in time. In time for what? In time for them to find the Decepticons, get it? Turbo backfire! Buckle blast! Fusion flame! Now you're supposed to shoot the Decepticons! Oh! I'm not being picky today! Oh, oh, we're not the ones who attacked the base! Oh. Was this part of the plan, running away like little rabbits? It's a strategic maneuver now, spin off! Scourge! The Autobots are starting a counterattack! What? Yahoo! Let's round them up! Yes, now they'll destroy each other. I just have to get out of the way. Huh? No, I can't go over this way. Can't go over here. Slapper! Somebody, I need assistance! Ah! Oh, Attack of the Clowns. Seen it already. Decepticons! Battle mode! Now we're finally getting somewhere. Mirage! Optimus Prime, transform! Battle mode! Power stream! Blast up! Laser assault! Combustion missile! This ends now! You didn't listen. Do you know how much power we could have gotten from that plant if you hadn't interfered? I have to lock you up for 10 gigacycles! Megatron, I was just trying to help. I found out the Autobots were coming, so I rushed over there. I risked my life, threw myself into the line of fire just to want Scourge. And now he accuses me of interfering. <sighs> I do not like whiners, Commander. It's not fair. 
me, a whiner? Well, I never was. Skylight, I got some new information. Scourge is going to hit the base shore power plant. There's enough energy there to keep the base powered up for a year. Great. If he succeeds, Megatron will put him in charge permanently, and I'll be sweeping floors. I've got to stop Scourge, but Megatron's watching my every move. The shark cage is all around me. Why don't we just tell the Autobots where Scourge is going? We'll send him an invitation. Yes! You hit the jackpot! Bingo! Jeez, ah. I was only joking. When I'm serious, you hate my ideas. Ah, utter perfection. I can get those Autobots to do anything I want. Just watch how I wrap them around my thin. <laughs> hey, slow down a little bit. That paint job is awesome. I love the glossy finish. Wow. Cypher, <laughs> transform! Hey, pal, anyone who comes between me and a sporty roadster is in deep trouble. Just cool down. I have some information you'll thank me for. I will thank you? Salt water clogging your brain again? Normally, I'd make you eat those words, but today's your lucky day. I'm going to give you a little inside tip. All right! Ah, here's a tip for you! I've told you I don't want to fight. I've got some information about the Decepticons. Yeah, like I'm going to believe anything you have to say. Uh, about having the Autobots wrapped around his little fin? Yeah, I guess I wouldn't put it quite like that. This is bad. Just listen for a minute, you belligerent Battlebot. He needs to work on his people skills. Don't ever come between me and a red sports car. No! Uh, you almost had him talked into it, Skybite. You just picked the wrong Autobot. That one's a little too hot-headed. You're right. He was too stupid to fall for my trick. Yeah, so, uh, why don't you try the four-wheel drive guy? Hmm, yes, the off-road country bot. A little slick talk and I'll pull the wool over his optics. Easy. Who could doubt you? Some jerk's always handing me a line. But up here in the mountains, I can get away from all the crazies. Yeah! You're not going anywhere, Autobot. Okay, I'm closing my eyes and thinking there's something out there other than big, ugly animal monsters. There, yeah, that's better. When I open my eyes, I'll be back to normal reality. Now oh, oh, you had to go and upset the little lady. Where I come from, that's considered bad manners. Next frog. Next ball. Ty, I just got bushwhacked by four Predacons. Understood. I'll send a team to back you up. No problem. Just hold on. I'm trying to be friendly here. Don't you get it? Maybe if we all put our hands up, he'll get the idea. Come on now. Right. See, we didn't come to fight. Hey, what is this? April Fools? Here, wave a white flag. They like that. Come on, boys. What's the catch? No catch. Scourge is planning to raid the base shore power plant. We just thought you'd like to know. Right, and then you're going to invite me to a barbecue. We could do that. But first, I'm sure you want to stop Scourge from stealing that power. All right, let's talk Tuna. Why would you tell me about this? No special reason. We just want to be helpful, that's all. Cyber, transform! You don't take a hit very well, do you? Well, let me spell it out for you with my laser writer. Hey, I got a white flag here. See, I'm waving it. Yeah, show them the universal greeting dance. Go on, do it. White flag up. Red up. White down. Hold it there. Now red down. Up. No, hold it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Another stunt like that and you'll be toad stew. It won't happen again. I think these guys escaped from the space service. Skybite brought a tip. He says Scourge is going to attack the Bayshore power plant. Hmm. Huh? That's the biggest power plant in the whole country. Yeah, and why would they want us to know about it? Unless it's some sort of Predacon trap. Why are you so suspicious? That really hurts my feelings deeply. I'm quite sensitive, you know. You're about as sensitive as a pile of rocks, Skybite. You, sir, need a personality adjustment. Matter of fact, I checked my personality. I took the online fish test. It said I'm a bonito, which is a pretty tough fish. Ooh, Skybite took that test. It said he was a jellyfish, the spineless kind. <laughs> That's Rich Skybite, intergalactic spokesman for canned <laughs> shark jelly. Slapper, was it really necessary to tell them that? Sorry, it won't happen again. Why don't you go to the power plant and see if I'm right? Why should we? You know, I don't even think you're the real Skybite. Let's see. Okay, if you're really telling the truth, let's see you do a headstand. What? I don't think so. Sharks don't really do tricks, you know. Maybe we better forget the whole thing. Step aside. Yeah. All right, terrorize! 
Single fin stand. Go. This takes finesse. All right. Is that enough? Capital C. Can I stop now? Fall on nose. What? Here, boy. <laughs> hey, if things don't work out, you can always get a job at the marine park. Ah! All right. Now check on the power plant. I don't believe old Fish Face for a minute. This is a totally wasted trip. I was messing with his head. Don't worry. If that hombre's planning an ambush, we'll be ready for it. Right. We're just going to check the power plant for safety. By the book. Has everyone but me gone totally mental? Hey, look. It actually worked. They're heading for the plant. Excellent. Even if we lose, it was worth it to see Skybite bark like a seal. You need a wife. Look who's here! Hey guys, what's up? Told you. Did Optimus send you here? No, I'm here on a special field trip with my class from school. Actually, that's lucky for us. We got a tip that there could be trouble here from the Decepticons. Have you seen anything? Nuh-uh. Relax, it's probably a false alarm. But we'll stick around just in case. I better catch up to my class. All right, security protocols are in place. Yes! And won't Scourge be surprised when he finds out who's waiting for him? <laughs> this is great for my solar chargers. We haven't seen any Decepticons. Do you think they're really coming? Bad chance. If Skybite says it, it's bogus. Skybite! Ah, are the Decepticons on their way to fall into a trap? Actually, no. They just showed up at a different power plant. What? You mean I did all those tricks for the Autobots for nothing? Oh. Can't believe it! Oh. Ah! Decepticons are attacking the power plant! No, they're not. Not the one you're at. They're attacking the Crestline power plant on Bear Mountain. It's completely unprotected. Swag! We've been hoodwinked! Ugh. Now I see! Skybite gave us the wrong info on purpose so they could attack Crestline! Barrage attack! Round zero! Eradicate! Okay, Chance, let's form up! Round it one! Transform! Rare spike! Transform! Midnight Express! Transform! We've got to stop these guys fast. We all know the best way to do that. All right, then let's do it. Bullet fusion mode! I'm ready to take them on! You're a little late there. We just sent them all on their way. Looks like we missed the party. Old Skybite threw us clean off the trail. That's completely unacceptable. We need an appropriate response. That shark's gonna regret it, and soon. Transform! Alas, so the predictions have proven true. I have always thought of myself as one who strikes fear into the hearts of many. A shark with an iron will, but it turns out I'm a jellyfish. The online personality test was right. I don't deserve to have food. Hey, Skybite! Hmm. We've been thinking, why don't we hit a power plant ourselves? Just like Scourge, only we'll do it better. Great idea! I'm glad I thought of it! You <laughs> thought of it? Where'd that come from? <laughs> Fantasyland? They ought to revoke his poetic license. Yes! I am a shark! I'll show the world I'm not a Jedi man! Transform! <laughs> Megatron, whatever are you doing at this power plant? I came here with Scourge to steal the energy without alerting the Autobots. But you have ruined that plan, fool! 
Bugler, coward, jellyfish! I love when he humiliates people. It's inspirational. Yeah, he's got a real flair for it. That's why he's the boss. This was a stealth mission, but you don't know the meaning of the word. Your need to prove your worth costs us dearly. I ought to let the Autobots take you apart for sport. Oh, but you wouldn't want to do that. I promise I'll follow orders from now on. You know, it's interesting to see his wimpy side. He's almost likable, but not quite. Optimus, the Predacons are attacking the power plant at Rocky Point. Send the Autobot brothers at once. No problem. Cypher, transform! Huh? You, you sent us to the wrong power plant on purpose. No, wait, it was an honest mistake. You just misunderstood what I was saying. Jellyfish! I wish everyone would stop calling me that. I'm not an invertebrate. I have cartilage. Dance! Ouch! Ouch! I'm a poet, not a dancer! Megatron, help me! Oh, how predictable. Transform! Just in time, Optimus! Optimus Prime, battle mode! I'll take him! I don't think so. Barrage attack! I'll show you a real barrage! Don't let him best you! You were saying? Blizzard Storm! Fire! Roto Tire attack! I'm crawling. Is that good enough? I told you it was a misunderstanding. We had a little communication problem. Now let me go. Only if you do some more shark tricks. No, I refuse. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right, by the pit, I'll do it. <laughs> well, that's not bad, but I like your seal better. It was so cute. That's it. I'll find all of you if I have to. That's fine with us. I, uh, oh, you're, you're all here. Be even optimist. Well, my friends will back me up. You'll see. Your friends left you high and dry, and that ain't healthy for a flounder. I'm not a flounder. I'm not a trained seal. I'm not a jellyfish. I'm a shark, I tell you. A shark! Skybite, you're nothing but a lousy bottom feeder. Now get lost. Ah, uh, never mind. Forget it. I, uh, uh... And don't come back. Leave these power plants alone if you know what's good for you. You have brought dishonor to all of us. Your punishment will be to clean out the Energon smelters. Be gone from my chambers. <sighs> I tried to punch up my action chart this morning, but the screen froze. Now let's see if I can get through. Today's action advice. Don't betray anyone and don't get tricky. You'll never pull it off. Jellyfish are too icky. If you try it, you'll end up barking like a seal and groveling at people's feet. You could have told me this this morning and saved me the humiliation, but no, you had to freeze up just when I needed you. Why am I listening to a computer anyway? Looks like an electric eel now. Hmm, wonder what their personalities are like. Ancient cavern ruins. The 
Cave of the Dragon. The volcano of Montrose Island. Those are all locations the Predacons have attacked. It looks as though Megatron has been using the Psychoprobe to pry information from Dr. Onishi. Optimus, what are they searching for? I'm not certain, but it must have something to do with the research Dr. Onishi had been doing just before they kidnapped him. We'll need to reanalyze the data that's stored on Dr. Onishi's microchip. Perhaps they're looking for the O parts. Oh no, that could be terrible. In the wrong hands it could be. We have to locate the missing O parts before the Decepticons do. From now on, the mission to find the O parts is the number one base priority. Thank you, Ty, and continue to track Megatron closely. by itself. Predacons, it's time to seize the day. Glory will be ours at 3.15 sharp this afternoon. Does anyone want to guess what the Finhead is thinking? Probably just another diabolical plan to get us all destroyed. Yeah, he's looking extra stupid right now. Ah, I have a perfect plan. At its grand opening this afternoon, we level the entire tower to the ground. Then all the reporters will want to interview us. The Predacons will become famous at last. <laughs> Imagine Megatron's jealous look when he sees us Predacons on TV. On a scale from 1 to 10, that was stupid. An 11 on the stupid meter. Real bad. I'm not asking for your opinion, you babbling boneheads. You can see the whole city from up here. It's just like we're on some tall mountaintop. Hey, look, you can almost see your apartment from here. This is amazing. Everything's so clear and peaceful today, and the new tower is beautiful. I'm just happy I finally decided to come to the opening. Okay, men, aim. Savor the moment, gentlemen. We're about to knock off the tallest building on this planet. And lock, Tsunami Blaster! Oh no, not again. Huh? Oh, hey, they're Predacons! Preda Predacons? This isn't happening. Oh. Everyone! Send in laser! Right laser! Left laser! <laughs> Assemble the Autobots, Ty. This is an emergency that calls for the build team. Build team, come in! Emergency protocol! What's your position? Please come in! I'm so proud of us. I didn't believe we'd complete construction on the South Ocean underpass in anything less than a megacycle. Yep, that was something else, wasn't it? I'd say we each deserve an oil bath. You bet. And the best part is we still had half a megacycle left over for the Western Loop and beyond that, too. You guys, build team is gonna go down as the fastest crew in history. We did two global routes in one mega cycle. This is Ty. Build team, please come in. Not another construction job. Please return. The Predacons have attacked. They're in Quadrant 3, Sector A. Copy, Ty. We'll be there. Anything else we should know? No, not yet. At this point, you know as much as we do. Just keep your equipment ready and get there. Wow, the excitement never ends. First superhighways, now Predacons. Come what may, the build team is ready. Roll out! Roll it out! Knock it down! Build it up! Oh, yeah. Why'd they have to go and ruin a nice day like this? Don't look down! Just don't look down! capacity vehicle to you, my furry friend. Now tell me, after you're destroyed, are you willing to donate your parts for charitable construction? Well, he's for real. And how? You fools! Watch! Distract! 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 Hey, why 
Why should Skybite have all the fun? Let's just wreak havoc! Right laser! <laughs> I insist get me prime. Whatever was prime. in that head, it ain't working anymore, you know? You got that! His one demand was that he talk to you, Optimus, and we'll have to comply fast. Put him on immediately! Better make it quick, Skybite. What do you want from me? I think you know, don't you, Optimus? I'm afraid I don't know, Skybite. No, you know what I'm talking about, Optimus. That, uh, I, uh, you monitor at your headquarters. He wants a thingamajiggy? Wow! Sounds important! My comrades know what I want! Uh, of course! The, uh, thingy! Yeah, that whatchamacallit! The frim fram with the flippity gibbet! I'm sorry. It's a good description, but I can't think of anything it might fit. Don't, don't play coy with me, Optimus! Optimus, I just had an idea! What if the Predacons wanted the... If they wanted what, Ty? You know, the O... The... the O parts? That's precisely what I mean. And now, you control what happens to my hostages. The old parts are out. Don't make me fill in the blanks. I'll bring all we have. Hey, do we know what an old part is? Nope. I can't let him harm innocent citizens. Skybite, don't hurt your hostages and I'll bring you the old parts. Mm, that sounds superb. Now get here and don't worry about these people. And that, my fellow Predacons, is what sheer genius is really all about. <laughs> no! Sir, as we speak, Optimus Prime is bringing the Opards to Skybite. He's currently busy guarding the tower with the other Predacons. That's marvelous. Remind me to commend Skybite for a great bluff. It actually worked this time. Might I have the honor of seizing the old parts and bringing them back to you? Yes, whatever it takes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Prime! Deceptic! 
Archon, come finder mode! Yes, sir! Parts to Skybite. You're giving them to me, Prime. Or to me. Back up, both of you. I promised Skybite and I'm going to deliver. Very touching. Here is my answer. Now! <laughs> now, I want to take the O parts directly back to Megatron. You don't understand, Scourge. Lives depend on this. Another way. Another way. Stand back! Oh, my arms. This thing weighs a Cybertronic ton. It feels like it weighs more because there's still some foundation left. Unless someone cuts it out, we're going to be Predacon pancakes. I got it. Just wait one second. Jerk's mine. No! Wait a minute! That was such a bad idea. Everybody up on three. One, two, three. Good news at last. For reasons no one can explain, the Predacons are actually helping keep the tower up. Skybite is our hero? I don't believe it. Huh? Let's go, Skybite. I believe in you. You're doing a great job. Don't give up. Keep it up, Skybite. You can do it. Hey, wait. Why? Why would they like us? They're cheering. For me, I've never been cheered for in my entire life. I wish Megatron would cheer for me once. Come on, men! Save the hostages! Don't let them fall! I'm never doing another plan of his again! Keep your hands up, team! Together we can keep the hostages safe from certain doom! Okay, guys, you've got a pothole about five meters to your left. Careful! Great job! Keep it up! Okay! Yeah, good. A uh, little to your left, Wedge. That's it. That's it! Okay! Oh no! They're losing control again! And things were going so well. If you come between me and the safety of those humans, Scourge, I'll take you apart servo by servo. <laughs> I can't let that flounder get all the credit. I warned you, Decepticons. Please, Blaster! I swear I'm gonna make you regret this, Prime! Lucky move, Optimus. Now face me! All right. Transform! I've got to make up for lost time. I'll make sure he pays for that. Transform! I can't feel my arms here. I know I'm going to get crushed like a tin can. I got no health plan. No, oh, quit whining. No, my back is starting to itch, and I can't even reach around to scratch it. Hey, Skybite, do you need a little help up there? From you? What could you possibly do to help, Junior? Well, I could use my treads for one thing. All right, try them out. Okay, here goes nothing. There. Ooh, higher. Where? Up here? Uh, a bit to the left. Here? Yes, yes, that's it. That's it, right there. Yes. Ah, but Autobot is so kind as to scratch another's back. How bad could he possibly be? Just imagine, for a second, if you had no hostages to take care of, you could scratch your back all you wanted to. That would be so nice. And Skybite, imagine all your hostages cheering because you set them free and saved their lives. That's it, Skybite! Hold them! Do you hear that? They're cheering for us. We've got to support them. Fine, but I can't hold out much longer. Right, me neither. My spine's like an accordion. Great, then why don't we take a little vote? Everyone in favor of freeing these innocent hostages? Raise your hands. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to let go. Oh, no. Over here, careful, careful. Oh, oh. The 
tower's more important. Yeah, we gotta find a way to set it down now. Almost there. We got a rumble on our hands. Skirt, transform! Fine, so it's time for payback, Prime. We'll see about that. Battle mode! I told you, Scourge, I'm busy. You may not have noticed, but you got a building thing happening here? Yeah, can the battle thing wait? This is not the time. We're tied up right now, Scourge. Do something quick, Optimus. Scourge won't wait. The old parts or the tower? You don't make the rules here, Scourge. Build team, do anything you can. Stop Scourge's attack. Count on us, Wedge. Do it! How many seconds will this tower stand? Incoming fucking shield! I'm all over it! Double shield! Sweet! Nice aim, High Tower! We can't keep holding this tower in the crossfire. It's too hard to dodge the missiles! Skybite and his group are now helping to protect the tower! This is amazing. In an alliance never seen before today, they've teamed up with the Autobots. Hey! All right! Skybot! Way to go! Now, more than ever before, my dear hostages need me. We've been hit! Hang on! Save the tower! Big mistake, Tanker Breath. I will do what it takes until I leave with the Oparts. You'll be lucky to leave here with all of your parts. You're going out with a fang and a whimper. You win this time, Prime, but I'll be back. I'm losing my grip. Okay, team, we need to think of a remedy and quick. Looks like the guys under the tower have just about run out of steam. If we had Wedge here, we'd be all right. We could combine into landfill and then secure that tower. Hmm. We might just be able to get it. Guys, we're gonna have to clear some land to put this tower down. Are you with me? You betcha, but check with Skybite. Skybite, I'm gonna have to leave you guys to combine forces with my team. We'll clear the area and make a foundation for this tower in no time flat. Uh, whatever you say, Junior. Excellent. Hey, whatever you do, do it fast! Build team! Koji, don't tell me you were in the tower, too. Yeah, we got to watch the whole thing. I was really impressed by the way you guys handled Scourge's attack. But one thing, Skybite and the Predacons were going to destroy the building. Why did they decide to help the hostages after capturing them? Who knows, but I'm glad they did. Ah, now this is the life. Yeah, it's a good life when you don't have to carry around a two million ton tower. Man, that was an unnecessary day. Why on earth did we go through all of that? Oh yeah, the O-Parts! I wonder, what are the O-Parts anyway?
kids, fox kids, fox kids, fox kids, fox kids. Take your squad of Decepticons and secure those ruins! Previously on Transformers... Autobots, go and protect the ruins! Arm laser! Hold, going somewhere? You'll destroy the ruins! Fortress Maximus. It's Fortress Maximus. The Energon level coming off this structure is amazing. Hmm. We're going to have to check this place out very carefully. How did this thing get here? I didn't think it existed. That was just a legend on Cybertron. You don't think it's actually for real, do you? If this is Fortress Maximus and we can figure out its secret, it sure would explain a lot of things. I'm going to see if I can find the Decepticons. I'll be in touch. I need to thoroughly investigate this. Cyber, I want you, your brothers, and Team Bullet Train to keep the Decepticons away from here for at least one solar cycle. Right. We'll hold them off. Take your time, Optimus. They won't get close. You heard him, boys. No one get past us for 24 hours. Roger. We're on it. Hey, hold on just a nano, Optimus. Aren't you forgetting about us? Shouldn't we go with the other Autobots and help them out? No, Edge. I have a plan. Something to throw the Decepticons off track. Huh? Really? What kind of plan is it? We have to make sure the Decepticons don't find Fortress Maximus. We're with you, Optimus. At last! Absolute power will be mine! With Fortress Maximus at my disposal, I'll conquer the entire planet and then the entire universe! Let me go and explore the ruins. Since Scourge and the Decepticons botched the mission last time, please allow me to secure the key to its power, Cerebros. He's got a point, Megatron. You should allow Skybite to go. I think he's the right bot for the job. Huh? This isn't like you, Scourge. Why would you want Skybite to go instead of you? The ruins have some sort of shield that causes transceiver malfunction. It's preventing us from entering. Skybite seems unaffected by this. I see. All right, then, Skybite. I'm entrusting you to find Cerebros. I'm counting on you, so don't disappoint me, understand? No. Uh, I mean, yes. Hold on, Scourge. I just heard that you told Megatron to send Chumboy in for the job instead of us. Why would you do that? Because of something that happened. Remember when I tried to enter the ruins and it charged something in my memory banks? I remembered our mission from Cybertron to reactivate a fortress that was hidden here to protect Earth's energy from Megatron. I believe those ruins are that fortress, and it contains tremendous power, enough to destroy all of our enemies. Power like we've never seen. Then why did you let Tuna Breath go? We should be the ones that find Cerebros for Megatron. Turn your receiver up. With that kind of power, we don't need Megatron. The Decepticons would be self-sufficient. You mean we wouldn't have to follow orders anymore? Affirmative. With that power in our hands, we would be the ones calling the shots. The universe would belong to us, my friend. Well, when you put it that way... That bumbling Skybite is no threat to us. We simply have to get to the ruins before Megatron arrives, and then all the glory will be ours. Those two, they're up to no good. I wish I could hear them. I don't trust either of them one bit. I know what he's up to. Scourge is out to discredit me. He acted like he was doing me a favor when he told Megatron to let me go. But he'll get to the ruins first, so that he looks like the hero! Skybite failed you again, so I brought you the ruins personally. Well done, Scourge! Once again, you succeeded where Skybite has failed. You are now second in command! 
I really hate that guy. He's always honing into my glory, taking what belongs to me. Well, this time he's not getting away with it. I'll get there first and find Cerebros. What a lovely kid and a fish. My father was just about to start excavating the ruins when he was abducted. That may have been why your father was captured, because Megatron thought he knew something about those ruins. Yeah, I guess so. Believe it or not, the fact that the Decepticons found out the location of the ruins is really a positive thing. What? There's only two ways the Decepticons could have discovered the coordinates of the ruins. One is the microchip which we possess. The only other possible explanation would have to be that they got it from your father. Right, but that means they forced my father to tell them somehow. True, but I'm sure he's all right. I think we can assume he's still useful to them. I hope you're right. <sighs> Dad. I'm home. I really miss you. I really loved going fishing with you. Daddy, we used to always go fishing on your birthday. You caught a really big one. <laughs> Attaboy, son. Here, use the net. I caught one, Dad. I really did it. <laughs> Dad, wherever you are, I hope you're safe and we'll be together again soon. Please come home. We all miss you so much, Daddy. Let's see here. How in the world am I ever going to figure out where Cerebros is anyway? Hmm, Dr. Onishi. Yes, Onishi. He'll know the secrets of the ruins. I'll just take him with me. I am so brilliant. At times I amaze myself. Ah, oh, there he is, sleeping like a baby. In you go. The old swisheroo should fool them. I'm good. This is delicious. I'm going to succeed where Scourge is doomed to fail. Then we'll just see who Megatron wants as his second in command. Da -da. Who's the baddest shark around? Who's the smartest shark in town? Skybite, that's me! Who'll drive Scourge into the ground and never let old Megatron down? Skybite, that's me! Drains. It's just as I thought! Those annoying drains are blocking the underground entrance! Can you keep those loser locomotives occupied while I sneak in another way? While you keep them busy, I'll have time to infiltrate the base. Wait a minute. Aren't you worried about the defensive shield? It made scrambled eggs out of your CPU last time. These goggles will protect all my sensors. The shield will be useless. I won't have to worry about any hallucinations. How do they look? Very sharp. I'll take care of the trains. Decepticons, come by! <laughs> They're combining into Runation. Don't worry, Rail Spike. He won't get past us. He's very large. We'll have a better chance if we combine, too. Right. Let's do it, boys. Bully Fusion Mode! <laughs> Stand a chance. Oh, yeah? If you think you can stop us, you're wrong. We'll see who's wrong. Get done with you. You look like a train wreck. I wouldn't bet on it. anything to be down there right now why won't optimus let me fight i can't take it anymore i gotta go and help rail racer 
Hold on there, Wedge. You're not going anywhere. You're not going to jeopardize our mission just because you want to fight. Now calm down and behave yourself. Put me down! That's enough! Now knock it off. You're behaving like a spoiled bot. We have a job to do, and we're gonna finish it. If you want to go down there and fight, then you're gonna have to go through me. I'm not moving until you come to your senses. Okay, it was the heat of the moment. I'm over it. Don't pop a clutch. <laughs> Mega Octane better keep those trains busy. I have to look around and figure out what makes this place tick. Who gets too hungry for huh? seafood at A? Who's with the ocean and always looks great? Who always bothers with robots? He hates Skybite. Yes, Skybite. That's me. He should keep his day job. Who's the baddest shark around? Who's the smartest shark in town? Skybite. What's That's the matter with him? Doesn't he realize that if he goes around singing like that, the Autobots will catch him? Catchy little tune, don't you think? Optimus Prime! Did you really think I would let you have the secret of the ruins, Scourge? You don't let me do anything. I take what I want. Not this time. Leave here while you still have the chance. That's it! Just remember that you asked for this rhyme! When I'm done, your own Autobots won't recognize you! A bear to be flattened! What was that? Is there someone else here? He always has to go and ruin everything for me. Oh! What's the idea? I put my money in already. You didn't pay enough. I paid the full <laughs> fare! <laughs> what the? You let him through? What's going on around here? How come he didn't have to pay anything? That isn't fair! Fine. You tell him he can't go through. Oh! Skybite! Huh? Skybite? There's something I want to ask you. Yes, what is it? Dr. Onishi was abducted by Megatron. The doctor's my father. Your father? That's just terrible. I need you, Skybite. Will you help me rescue my father? Well, I really feel bad for this kid. But what would Megatron think? <laughs> Listen, short stuff. Don't you know that I am Skybite? I'm second in command only to Megatron. I'm the meanest, smartest, evil robot shark in the entire universe. I don't believe that at all, because you have saved us in the past. I know that you can be nice and that you have a good heart. Please, won't you help me get my dad back? Now, don't be saying those things about me. You're going to ruin my image. I've got a... Wait a second. Can you at least give this to my father for me? What is this? Some sort of human trick? No, it's a lure. My dad really loves to go bass fishing. Today is his birthday, and I wanted to give him something he would really like. Well, that's very thoughtful, kid, but I don't take kindly to the whole fishing thing, if you know what I mean. You just hold on to that till later. He would have really loved it. We used to go fishing every year on his birthday. <laughs> that's so beautiful. Hey, would you knock that off? It gets to me. I'm very sensitive. Oh, all right, I'll do it. You mean it? You'll actually give it to him? Freeze! Hold it right there! Why didn't you tell me they were coming? Transform! 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 Skybite, what were you fixing to do to Koji? I... Uh, nothing. We won't allow you to harm an innocent child. We were talking about his father. Koji, was he trying to kidnap you too? Uh, no, really, he was being nice. Take that, you farmer. You're too late. Scourge probably has Cerebos already. Don't count on it. Ruin 
Bones are gone! They disappeared! But they were right here! What happened? Where did they go? You did this! You hid them away somewhere! No, I didn't. Maybe they just transported somehow to another location. Liar! You're going to tell me what you did with them! Tell me, or I'm going to slice you up like so many scraplets! Sword of Fury! This is your last chance! Shark missiles! Uh, your attack is pathetic! What? Now I'm angry! Sideburn, can I give you some assistance? Nah, we got it. But I'm concerned about Optimus. He's heading over toward Fortress Maximus. Oh, yeah? The fortress may be in danger. I'll go check it out. Thanks, pal. Right now he's somewhere in the subway. And good luck. Check. I'm on it. I'll go find Optimus. You take care of Fishface. <laughs> you plan to insult me all day, or are we gonna fight? Terrorize! Oh, oh. How embarrassing. What's that crazy shark doing? Now you bots are gonna pay! Koji, hold this! What is this thing? Skybite, terrorize! Duh. Put that pea shooter away! It's no match for my weapon! Here, let me whip up a little sandstorm for you! Tell me where the ruins are! I don't hear you, Optimus! You can't hold this forever! Tell me where they are or I'll split you in half! Hey, pal, weren't you told you shouldn't play with sharp things? Arm cannon! Ultra Magnus. I came here to protect Fortress Maximus. Let's combine and take this guy already. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Ultimate Energy Combiner! Omega Prime! You think you can beat me? Guess again! It's you. Dad, are you all right? Is it just another dream? You're really here, Dad. Skybite rescued you and brought you here. I can't believe it. Leave him alone. Listen, Skybite just saved my father's life. What did you say? It would have been nice if you told them that earlier. Skybite rescued him? That's unbelievable. Uh, well, not exactly. You should have told us that earlier. If we'd known that, we wouldn't have attacked you. Huh? Sorry, man. Our mistake. Yeah, I reckon we all owe you an apology. No, listen, let's just forget the whole thing, okay? Wait a minute, that looks like Dr. Onishi. <sighs> Skybite, you're a traitor. Uh, it's a big mistake. Let me explain. Transform. What? Explain it to Megatron. Scourge, wait a minute, listen to me. You've got it all wrong. Hi there, Dad. Hi, Koji. Welcome back. I've missed you so much, Daddy. Oh, son, you can't imagine how happy I am to see you again. Happy birthday. I'm so happy that you're finally here. Welcome back, Dr. Onishi. Who is this? Dad, these are the Autobots that have been fighting the Predacons and Decepticons to save the Earth. I want to thank you all for looking after my son. It was nothing, Doc. You see, Koji's like one of us. Ruination! Cease fire and meet me back in the face! What about the plan? Something's happened. I'll tell you about it when I see you. On my way! You know something? I really have to admit it. It was ingenious to hide Fortress Maximus in a building like this. 
Yeah, and even Optimus didn't know where we hid it, so he didn't have to lie to the Decepticons. That's true, but it's just a matter of time before they figure out that it's here. What have you done, Skybite? Done? Well, you see, I borrowed Dr. Onishi to help me with the ruins. I didn't expect him to be taken by the Autobots. You stupid bungler! I'm so sorry, Megatron. I didn't mean... We were just about to get Cerebros when the Autobots jumped us. We were outnumbered. In all the confusion, they grabbed Dr. Onishi. So is that what happened? Skybite? Uh, oh, yes, sir. Exactly. Now that we know where the ruins are, we no longer need Dr. Onishi. I suggest that Predacons and Decepticons join forces in order to find Cerebros. Why are you sticking up for me? Something smells fishy. <laughs> I just saved your feelings. You owe me big time, Skybite. And believe me, you'll pay. <laughs> Good idea, Scourge. Join forces and locate Cerebros. Nothing can stop us now. 